You know, for me, let me say first, it's time to celebrate, it's timely. 16 million women are infected by HIV. 850,000 women are dying every year, unnecessarily uh, due to uh, in HIV-related disease. So for me, it is a revolution. It is a prevention revolution. And it will uh, protect the women up to 54% uh, if it is uh, used consistently. The study conducted in women aged 18 to 40 years showed that the gel once used at 12 hours before sex reduced HIV infection by almost 50% and herpes simplex virus 2 infection by 51%. Yes, this is the first time we have a product that a woman can use to prevent HIV infection without having to involve her partner. So that w that's what makes it a bit different from the female condom. You can use this gel in the 12 hours before sex, so it doesn't have to interrupt the sex act, and you take a second dose in the 12 hours after sex. Experts are trying to determine why the drug was only successful 50% of the time. Well, there's going to be a lot of work done now to try to see the women who did get infected anyway, and despite taking the gel, what was different about them? What was, what, how can we explain that the gel didn't work? We need to do this in order to find out what we can do to strengthen it to make it even better. I'm curious how this is going to be implemented now after it has been discovered. In this case, the pharmaceutical company Gilead gave the license to Conrad, and Conrad has given the license to the South African government. And so there'll be a look to see whether local pharmaceutical companies in South Africa can manufacture this at low cost. Before we move to making it available, we're going to have to have a confirmatory study and we need to find out if it's safe in pregnancy because women that got pregnant in the study stopped using the gel during the pregnancy. And we need to find out about young women below the age of 18. We will uh, work with South African government and uh, jointly South African government, UNAIDS uh, and uh, CAPRISA will call uh, all the researchers and also the production uh, uh, lines of to make sure that uh, we have a product which is affordable, accessible uh, to the majority of the people. The findings come at a time when donor countries are planning to cut the funding. For us, uh, uh, is the f uh, is a very pity that uh, we are facing the funding problems when we are having so much hope. Uh, five million people uh, on treatment, young people reducing the level of prevalence, leading the prevention revolution. Uh, Caprisa, a South African researcher, uh, uh, collaborator center of UNAIDS, finding uh, a, a gel which is a revolution. Uh, South Africa with uh, uh, 1,000 deaths per day coming back in the fight against HIV AIDS is not the time to cut. Uh, uh, down is a time really to scale up. Despite this, many welcome the findings which have given women hope. For women to have control beyond just the female condom is a significant step. Yes, it's good. It's good for the women. Just in that day. The women are so much exposed to a lot of things and one way to protect them and make their life more comfortable is in this way. So I find it's an excellent thing and I hope that the healthcare and service continue to promote this and teach the women how to use it and to protect themselves. I find it excellent. Yes, of course it's a good thing. Well, I think the microbicide efforts are really um, a great advance. There have been a lot of setbacks in the past, but this is good news that now women have an opportunity to protect themselves and take control of their own sexual health. According to some researchers, the findings may not win the approval of some countries like the United States. However, given the important role of women and their contribution, the findings are, in the words of a UN AIDS Executive Director Michelle Sibede, a time for celebration. Reporting from the 18th International AIDS Conference right here in Vienna, Austria, I'm Carol Francis, ANN.